So sometimes you think sitting at your home that what's up with the technology world? Why are phones getting bigger and bigger and they don't look like phones anymore? Every company is going for a bigger screen and that phablet form factor. And so is the new HTC One Max as well. This is the new flagship phone that HTC has come out with. It's called the One Max. It's got a 5.9 inch HD display up front and it is a huge phone to carry around, to lug around in your day-to-day -day usage. It doesn't fit into your pocket. Sure, it looks beautiful, the design is good and somewhat similar to the HTC One. The review unit that these guys sent across to us had a small flaw to it. It's got a removable back panel, so there's a button here, you press that button and the panel comes out. Of course, it's a unibody design, so there's no removable battery on it. You get a micro SD card slot, you get a SIM slot, and when you try to put the back panel back on the phone, it will not fit in. And you get a pokey little back panel uh, coming out from one of the top right corners of the phone which will poke you in your pocket again and again because for a six inch phone to put inside your pocket and carry around it will poke you and it's not easy to carry around so of course that's one problem that they have another thing that they've done with the HTC One Max is that they've come out with a fingerprint scanner at the back but here's the catch it does not work Every time we tried doing a fingerprint uh, unlock on the phone, it just refuses to fire up and it will ask you for your password. So if in the first place I wanted to put a password unlock on my phone, why would I do a fingerprint scan? So that is something that HTC needs to work on. Overall, the battery backup on the phone is good. It's got similar features that the HTC One had. It's got HTC Zoe in it. It runs on the latest Android operating system. It is loaded with HTC's superior blink feed now, which gives you all your social notifications and news on a single screen. It is also NFC capable. The NFC on it is good and decent enough. It works perfectly fine as the modern day smartphone would. One good thing about the HTC One Max is the boom sound speakers on it. It's got a speaker panel at the top and at the bottom. And when you fire up a song on this phone or when you're watching a movie, you really don't need those headphones because the sound on this is just Brilliant. It is powered by a Snapdragon 600 quad-core processor and the camera on it is actually the HTC's flagship ultra pixel camera. So it's just a 4 megapixel camera that gives you good images and images at par with any 13 megapixel snapper or a 8 megapixel snapper that is present on any modern smartphones these days. So overall, if I have to give a rating to this phone, I would just give it about a two and a half stars. Frankly speaking, because it's bulky, it's huge as a phone and the back panel does not fit in properly and the price on it is 56,490, which is very high considering the kind of features it has to offer.